What's going on y'all? So this is Marcus here with my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 8 Episode 3. Um, this episode was okay. Um, wait, is, is this episode? Yeah, episode 3. So the episode saw, saw Phaedra and uh, Portia, Portia, Portia are meeting up because um, Phaedra has talked uh, Portia into going to get a colonic. Um basically the whole gist of that when they were inside the place while Portia was on the machine getting her colonic she, you know she was uh, kind of talking about the party she said that after the party was over with that she asked Duke you know how do you feel about all of this was it too much for you to handle wop 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 and she said that he told her you know um, you know I'm past this basically he was unbothered but I was confused because last week when you was talking with your homeboy, you was talking about how this was too much and it was overwhelming and you was even considering leaving the party. So I'm just confused that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you to have actually, you know, just sat her down and been like, you know, I just feel like it was a little bit too much. You know, you, we moving a little bit too fast. Um, You know, I think we need to slow it down a little bit. But, you know, just be real, be honest. Um... And so, Phaedra brings up, you know, lets her know that, you know, me and Candy uh, were able to actually sit down and talk. Um, and so, Portia was like, how did that go? And so, she was basically like, how would you feel if you found out that I had some of your ex-husband stuff in my garage? And Portia responds, you know, I would feel betrayed. And so... You know, she was basically like, that's what's going on with Candy. Like, I can't understand why Candy would do that. Why why Candy wouldn't let me know, you know, something of that nature. Now, here's my thing. Apollo came and talked to Todd and asked Todd if he could leave his stuff in the garage. I don't, he didn't come and talk, ask Candy and Todd. He asked Todd and Todd said it was okay. However... On the same at the same time, before Ty made that decision, he should have sat down and talked to Candy because he knows that Candy and Phaedra are friends. So I would think that he would have came to him and been like, you know, I talked to my boy Apollo. Uh, you know, he asked me could he leave some of his stuff in our garage while he goes to prison because you know Phaedra don't want it at the house. And then with that in turn, but even still. Even though he didn't, you know, have that conversation with her, Candy could have still, once she found out what what it was, and she could have still went to Phaedra and been like, you know, just so you know, um, you know, Apollo and Tide had a conversation, and you know, Tide agreed to let the let Apollo keep some of his stuff at the house. So then it wouldn't have been like so surprising or so shocking. Um when Phaedra did find out that you know the stuff was at his house now and I understand you know why Phaedra you know felt some kind of way but it wasn't really that serious for you to be not talking to your friend for all this time and you going and saying stuff behind her back and then at the same time you told the man you didn't want his stuff at your house so what was he supposed to do with his stuff I'm just saying but anyway so that was the end of that and Phaedra I mean Candy and Tyler are talking and you know she was basically talking about you know the conversation he had with Phaedra. Excuse me. The conversation she had with Phaedra. And um, basically was like, you know, her main thing was the fact that we had, uh, we got Apollo stuff in our garage. And Todd was like, girl, look. Um, Ap Apollo talked to me about that. I said it was okay for Apollo to leave his stuff here. That didn't have nothing to do with you. And he was like, but girl, forget all that. Is she going to cut me a check? And he was like, you know, I talked to her about that and she said she was going to talk, you know, have a conversation with you about it. So, whatever. So, oh my God, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to, because I, I took notes and I tried to email it, but it's not, but I, it don't, my email is taking too long to pull it up let me see i might have to actually go on the internet hold on y'all oh well i guess i'm gonna just have to go by memory so there was a scene where portia and her sister lauren were going to 
this track because Portia, quote unquote, was supposed to have been running a race for charity. Mind you, they never even said what the charity was. So I'm sitting here thinking like, was this race really for charity or was this just a filler scene that they wanted to throw up in there? And so Portia all at the track flirting with this dude and stretching all in front of him and flirting with him. And I'm thinking about the dude look like he ain't about 16, but you know, she like him young. So, mm. um, so then Candy show up, Portia runs the race, whatever. And so, um, Candy and Portia had this little talk. She was basically, Portia kind of somewhat brought up, you know, what was said at the party, but she never really said, well, I heard, you know, that you said such and such and such, and I just want to know what, you know, what's, what the deal is. She was basically like, you know, there was a lot of negativity going on, and she was like, you know how it was when you first started dating Todd. And Candy was like, well, the difference with me and Todd is, you know, there were people, you know, people that Ty was close to that I could go to and say, you know, tell me what, you, you know, what, what's the deal with him. And I guess it's not the same with Portia because, you know, he don't even live in Atlanta and she don't, I guess she don't really know anybody that knows him personally to be able to go to them and say, you know, what's the deal with him. Um, but I mean, whatever, you know, Portia is just at a point like I love this man why can't everybody be supportive but it's hard for people to be supportive when first of all the dude is 10 years younger than you and then number two they don't know nothing about him and it's obvious you don't know nothing about him if there's all these scandals out about him and and that may be another reason why they don't like him because i'm pretty sure they've all seen this stuff or heard this stuff about him and you know they they form their opinions about that now let me just say this that you know that i guess that's one of the downsides to being in the public eye or having a being you know a football player or athlete a reality star or whatever that you know sometimes people can make things up about you i'm not saying that he that he wasn't with the porn star but i'm not saying that he was i'm just saying that it's easy for people to take something you know for example when they showed the little screenshot of him with the, with the transgender person for all we know he, they could have just he could have met that person at a club and you know she was like you know i'm a huge fan can we take a picture now all of a sudden that picture done got posted somewhere and now is this thing out about him messing around with transgender women i mean you know like i said i ain't saying that he ain't messing with transgenders but i ain't saying that he is messing with them i'm just saying you know sometimes people can take something that's so minute and so simple so innocent and turn it into something else um and I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there was a scene. There's a scene that I believe I'm missing, but I can't get my, my notes to pull up. So I'm just going to have to go by memory. And my memory is not the best. So, And that's another reason why I try to do my reviews right after I watch the show. But that don't help. But sometimes I still be forgetting. But anyway, Kenya is going to this place to look at a, um, look at a venue because she... Uh, she's hosting a launch party for her hair care line so she goes to the place marlo's there and the event planners there mind you the event planner's name is passionate i would i'm not even i'm not gonna get started but you know she was basically saying that you know um you know that was the same girl that hosted cynthia's eyewear event so you know she was basically like you know i feel like she knows what she's doing the venue is very bland, very bare. The walls were bare. And so she was like, you know, this place is definitely going to need some decor. Um, you know, she was saying that hopefully they can work on the AC because it was hot in there. But eventually she agrees to let the girl do the thing. Um, there was a scene with Cynthia where, you know, she... Oh, 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 oh <laughs> see, thank you. Go on, okay, go back. Cynthia and leon were at the house they were waiting for this dude to come by because they're um looking for a tutor for noel because she's about to be homeschooled because i guess she's about to try to be a singer or something i don't know girl pause and i know some of y'all some this might be a dumb question to somebody but can does can leon sing in real life or was he just acting on from the from the five heartbeats just asking because i'm trying to figure out you know if she's a singer if he's not a real singer, then where does she get her singing talents from? Now, I don't know if the girl can sing for real or not because we ain't heard nothing, but I'm just saying. So, the dude come up in there. His name is, um, I forgot. But, um, you know, they ask him, you know, some, some ordinary tutor questions. You know, what subjects are you good at? Um, 
how long you been tutoring, wop, wop, wop. And so Cynthia was like, how old is you? He was like, I'm 26. And she was like, well, I just didn't expect you to be cute. She was like, I don't know if this is going to be a distraction. And I'm like, Leon was a distraction for Noel or a distraction for you? Because it seemed like you was more infatuated with him than your daughter was. Um, mind you, the dude is 26. I'm not exactly sure how old Noel is, but I'm just like, um, yeah, you might. that might not be such a good idea. Um, but eventually they was like, you know, we'll call you and let you know. And so after he leaves, Cynthia was like, well, what you think about him? And she was like, I think he's five star. And I was like, mm hmm. Yeah, that's not the right that that's not the right tutor. Okay, so going back, there was a okay. Cynthia and Leon were talking in the kitchen. He was basically like, you know, how you doing? And I think she was somewhat trying to beat around the bush. And he was like, girl, let me tell you, it's not much that goes on with you that people don't tell me about. And so you know, somebody sent him the video. Um, she was just basically like, I just I don't know what to do at this point and. He was basically like, I, you know, before you just drop everything and run, I want to just, you know, basically he was telling her that weigh all her options and don't just, you know, end her marriage right then and there. Actually think about what she, she's going to do before she do, does it. Doesn't, don't make, I can't even talk right. Think about what she's going to, what she's going to do, what she wants to do before she does it. Don't make any hasty decisions. Don't be running off of emotion. But actually be logical and think about what you're going to do. And I thought that was real big of him. That's how you can tell that, you know, he's, you know, wants the best for her. Because he could have just been like, girl, you need to leave that nigga. And then next thing you know, we read in the and read in the blogs that they done got back together after her and Peter get divorced. But, you know, but so I respect that about him. And so there was another scene where, you know, she was basically saying that, you know, I've had time to think about some things and wop, wop, wop. And so she calls Peter. He don't answer the phone. So the next scene, we go to Kim Fields' house. Uh, you know, she was looking at, you know, looking at some dresses that she wants to wear because they were invited to Kenya's event. And, you know, they're excited because the babysitter's coming over. So they're finally going to have a night out with where it's just him and them two and, you know, not having to worry about the kids and stuff. Um, You know, Kim doesn't really have any friends. But, you know, like cause she was like, I'm not really a girl's night out girls night girls night out type of chick and her husband was like well that's why you ain't got no friends because you don't go out the only friends you got is your son is your son the friends from your son's school so that was the end of that conversation so we get to i think so yeah we get to cynthia i mean uh kenya's event uh portia and her friend shamia show up first Shamia was being shady from the gate. She was talking about how the the the, the product was like water, because she was like it don't have no smell, it don't have no texture, it's just watery. And so, eventually, she takes a drink of the the shampoo and said it was water. Now, if 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 the product really was had water in it, they probably just had the water in there as like a just for a prop so you could see what the bottle looks like you know it was just it was supposed to just be for display if you wanted to try some of the product then you were supposed to go over there to the hair salon and let them put some of, the, of it in your hair um then candy shows up um you know she doesn't stay that long because you know it was getting hot in there you know with, with the pregnancy and the heat and stuff it just don't work so she leave lift but before she leave, Kim Field shows up and she was just like, oh, I know who you are. Congratulations. She was basically somewhat starstruck with Candy. Um, then I think Phaedra showed up next. Then Marlo showed up. Then Cynthia and Mallory showed up. Then Sheree showed up. Mind you, why she had on all black with some with some tannish looking pumps? I was just like, girl, bye. Um... Yeah, she's definitely been off of Housewives for a while because her her uh style and her fashion has is definitely definitely not up to par with the other ladies. Um So, you know, all the women get there, they hug and kiss kiss whoop whoop whoop. Um But mind you, before the party even started, Kenya was on the phone with somebody. She was basically like, um, you know, I'm not a, you know, there's people that are supposed to be in charge. I know the products are supposed to be on their way there. Brandon was there to kind of oversee 
Oh Lord. Excuse me, y'all. Oversee and make sure that everything was up to par. Um, and so eventually, so eventually she gets there with her date. Um, she introduced him to her aunt, to um Auntie Cisco. Her his name is Eugene. I'm not now. I'm not sure if they was if they've actually been dating, or if he because she said that he was her date. But when the ladies were sitting at the table and they was and they saw her come in, I think it was Cynthia that was like they well Marlo that was like they've been dating. But mind you, I ain't heard nothing in none of the previous episodes that she was in a relationship. So I don't know. But she walk in. She walked right past where the girls were. Really? I just bit my tongue. Anyway. She walks right past where the girls are sitting. And she goes outside. Because she was basically talking about. It's, it, you know, it's hot in here. Now I'm not exactly what was going on with the AC. Because the lady said that she was going to work on the AC. To try to get the air down cooler. And I guess it would have been a little bit too ghetto. To have some, some of them uh, big gigantic fans. And they're blowing all over the place. But. She goes in and makes this speech talking about how she thanked everybody for being out and normally the normally the the fire doesn't start until she get there but it was already fire once she walked in and I was just like girl you but she thanks everybody for coming uh, meanwhile the women were sitting over well, the women and Kim's husband were sitting there, but she was basically like, "Where's all y'all men's at?" You know, me and my husband was talking about making friends. Bridget was like, "Girl, my husband in prison, so um, don't ask me that no more." <laughs> Cynthia was like, "I'm married, but you know, I'm mad at my husband this week." And Kim was just sitting there like, mm, "Like, oh, like, mm, what? What did I just walk into? Like, these might not be the type of girls I want to hang out with." Um. So eventually, um, Kenya comes back in and she speaks to all the girls. So she takes Sheree outside. Now, I, I guess you can say that they've made up and they're on a good foot. But Kenya didn't really acknowledge where she was wrong at. Because first of all, the way you came at Sheree was wrong. Second of all, that's not something that you bring up in front of other people. And thirdly... You don't even know that woman well enough to be talking about her business like that. So I, uh, so I understand why Sheree got upset like she did. But it's but you know getting ready to throw a glass, that won't necessary. But you know eventually she, uh, Kenya was like you know if you need a contract to let me know, you know and when you do move in I might have to borrow some sugar. So that was the end of the um. Did y'all see Kenya got pissed off when Shamia asked her, like, girl, is this water in the bottles or what's going on? And she was like, well, I wasn't here, so I don't know what was put in the bottles, but I'll let you make, make sure you get a gift bag. And so when she walk away, she go to Marlon and be like, this B gonna ask me, uh, trying to be shady, talking about is it water in the bottles? And what? Well, I'm thinking to myself, well, if water was in the bottle, I mean, maybe, she, I mean... I, I I feel like she was being a little bit shady, but I mean, if she wanted to know, so that's why she asked. So, the scene ends with Peter and Cynthia finally talking, you know, she, um, I'm assuming maybe she was coming from work or something. He was at the house. Um, to make a long story short, it's just a lot of things that have been going on in their marriage. You know, Cynthia has always been the type of person to kind of just let things slide and kind of ignore things but it's now she's at a point where I'm tired of just letting things slide and you know we need to sit down and talk about what it what's going on because you keep doing stuff and thinking that it's okay because I don't say nothing and it's like now I'm getting tired of your crap because she even told him like I don't think that I'm in love with you and so now he all heard talking about some you know sometimes when people are mad they say stuff to try to hurt the other person and I and I understand that you upset and so you said that it hurt me and wop 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 and she was basically basically like, listen, I'm willing to work this out with you. If, if you're willing to work it out, I'm willing to work it out. But at the end of the day, if we're not able to work it out, then we need to just go ahead and go ahead and just go separate ways. And you do you and I do me and I can go back, go run back to Leon. So <laughs> she didn't say that, but I'm just saying, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if her and Peter got divorced. She didn't, you know, go. She got back with Leon. But, um, you know, they agree that they're going to work out their problems and keep it moving, you know, see where it goes. But if it don't work out, then, you know, they're going to be on divorce court. 
So that was pretty much the end of the episode. I can't wait to see uh, Cynthia and Phaedra. I mean, Cynthia and Portia going to get into it next week. So I want to see what that's about. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and Paul, shout out to Claudia Jordan. Because she was at Phaedra's, I mean, Cynthia, uh, Kenya's launch party. Mind you, I'm thinking to myself, a lot of them women, I don't know what it was. I'm like, all these, I'm talking about the women that was in the background. Y'all at a hair care launch party. It was a salon right over there where y'all could have got y'all hair done. But y'all come up in there with them dry, tacky looking weeds. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video wherever you like to share videos. Um, all of my social media links and the links to my blog will be in the description box down below. And I want to give a shout out to, okay, let me see if I can remember. Ashley Miller, The Ghetto View. Much love from KY, Bondi Blue, James Colwell, Forrest Roth, Jamar Washington, Color Me Pink, Tiki44, Random TV Reviews, uh, Some More Love. I knew I was going to forget, y'all. Um, yeah, I think Messy Miles reviews the show also. Um, A Connection TV. Um... I keep saying I'm going to have these people written down and I ain't wrote them down. Yeah, I think Adrian Expression reviewed the show too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think Cemented, yeah, Cemented reviews the show. And I think Justin J1232 reviews the show also. Um, and if there's anybody that I forgot, charge it to my head, not my heart. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video, uh, review for American Horror Story. Peace.